Good afternoon, Lanita here. Um, today I wanted to, um, something I've been wanting to, to share for a while, but I had to get all of the components together and I finally have, and so I wanted to share it with you. I'm gonna be making um, a skin tightening lotion. And um, a couple weeks ago, I got together with my friend Ruth and her and I made um, some creams. We had, I made a face cream, we made a face cream, a fat cream, and a pain cream. And so I got to thinking, you know, I really want to make a skin tightening cream to put together to be able to slather it all over my body. Um, I am not a lotion person. I've never liked lotions. I've always kind of felt like, I felt like it just felt gross. Either they were really greasy or they, it just felt like I had cellophane on my skin. And so I've never really used lotions. And but when I started using these that we made last a uh, couple weeks ago, I was really surprised at how it, my skin just drank it right in and it didn't leave any kind of film or greasiness and it has made my skin so soft. I mean, for a week or so after I started using these, I was like, oh my gosh. You know, it just, I was shocked every time I would, you know, I would wake up from sleeping and you know, you wake up and you kind of, it's like, oh my gosh, my skin is still just so soft and my hands, and I've always had really, really rough hands um, and they are just so soft. So anyway, um, some of the things that we're going to be using uh, is shea butter and this is unrefined shea butter, unscented. I got this at Sprouts and jojoba oil, and jojoba oil is an excellent carrier, and I'll be explaining um, the benefits of, of all of these. Um, like the, the shea butter, the first time I'd ever used it was in these lotions, and, and I just, that's why I'm gonna use it from now on with any kind of lotion, just because um, it just feels really good. Um, but if you're, you're not making a lotion and you just want an oil, uh, jojoba oil is a really good oil. And I've got a cheat sheet here, so bear with me. So jojoba oil is um, an excellent carrier oil um, in it for topical use. It's the, the molecular structure in jojoba oil is very similar to the natural structure of our skin. And because of this, your skin won't break out or, you know, freak out. It, it'll just accept it and not, you know, so, um, so it's just a really safe, comfortable oil for your skin. Next is my favorite oil. My all time favorite is frankincense. And there's a reason frankincense was highly prized, you know, back in the biblical days and why Yeshua, it was given to him as, as, as a gift, frankincense. Um, it just, there's so many uses, but at, for lotions, let me read this here for you. Um, it's fantastic for the skin. It has the small molecular structure of frankincense oil helps to penetrate into the deep layers of the skin, promoting new cell regeneration right from the source of regeneration. Frankincense helps to protect the skin from damage resulting in wrinkles and loss of elasticity. Um, another great benefit using frankincense oil is that it can help promote collagen production. And collagen is important protein that keeps our skin healthy, youthful, and free from wrinkles. Um, hydration is extremely important for skin function and maintaining a youthful glow. Frankincense oil helps keep the skin oxygenated with a key component when considering good um, oxygenation. Sorry. Frankincense oil helps keep the skin oxygenated, which is a key component when considering good skin hydration. Consider mixing frankincense oil with a carrier oil like jojoba um, for your skin. You know, I have been, even before I made this face cream, I have, boy, for a couple of years, I've added two drops morning and night to my skin care to my, for my face. So I've been using frankincense on my face for a very long time. And then next is geranium. And this is another one that I've been using on my face. Um, I hated the smell of geranium when I first smelled it. I was like, oh my gosh, it's disgusting. Um, and then I learned that it's really good for tightening. I've always had really big pores and it's really good for tightening your pores. And um, I, I made some skin toner with it and learned to love the smell. 
So now I really enjoy the smell of geranium. So let me tell you about geranium. Geranium oil is a go-to for skincare as it's been known to improve the elasticity of your skin. Elastin is a necessary protein that is found in the middle layer of the skin, also known as the dermis. Elastin is what helps the skin bounce back when it has been stretched or manipulated. Geranium oil has been known to stimulate elastin production, which is why it's a great option when working towards tighter skin. So, and I also put geranium in my mermaid spray for my hair as well, for my scalp. Um, so it's just great for the skin. Next is lavender. We all know about lavender. So lavender um, is fantastic for relaxation and anti-stress properties. And it actually um, has antioxidant properties in it. And anti um, antioxidants are very important in skin care because they combat, they combat any free radicals that could damage the skin. Stress can be a major culprit when aging the skin and when oxidative stress creates free radicals, this can damage the skin, making it look aged and lifeless. Lavender is one of the best essential oils for calming stress. Be preventive and get your stress under control, but make lavender oil an essential part of your skincare regime. So, and lavender is also in my mermaid spray for my hair. For, it's great for the scalp and it also helps with hair growth. So, and then lastly, another one that was given to Yeshua um, was myrrh. And myrrh is essential oil that can um, be your next go-to essential oil when tightening up loose skin. Myrrh is one of the best essential oils for maintaining a youthful glow. Egyptians used, uh, used to use myrrh to preserve the dead before putting them away in their tombs. And myrrh has been used for thousands of years by women to prevent the skin from aging. Um, this must have been the reason it was given as a precious gift in biblical times. So frankincense and myrrh, both were given as gifts. So they were highly, highly prized um, oils and resins. And so that's what's going to be going into our skin, uh, our, our skin toning or tightening cream. So we're going to start with our shea butter. And I'm just going to glump, glump some in. I don't have, um, I don't have uh, measurements. I kind of just go with intuition. And um, I'm going to be using this squirt bottle. So I'm going to use a good amount of the shea butter. And actually, do a little bit more because. It's a bigger bottle, and there we go. And next, I'm going to add a good amount of, you know, so, I mean, this looks to be eight ounces, it looks like, oh, come on here, one cup, and then with the jojoba, going to give it a nice couple squirts. So maybe a tablespoon or two of the jojoba oil. And then frankincense, I'm going to put probably about 30. Twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty ish. Um, I just love that smell. And then geranium, about twenty, twenty to thirty. Uh oh, I might not have enough in this bottle, so we'll see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> Nineteen, twenty. We'll go 
Excellent. Lavender, I'm gonna go probably, ooh, new bottle. With lavender, I'm probably gonna go about 30. It should come out faster. Dirty. And then now, unfortunately, myrrh is like molasses. Oh, if I can even get it open, unfortunately, it ends up. Shoot. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can get it. Ah, perfect. Got it with that. Um, myrrh is, is a. Oh, good. The little top came off. So this could actually be super dangerous. So I'm going to use a, let me see if, uh, how can I do this without wasting it? Well, one second, let me see what I have. So I'm going to pour a little bit out in here and suck it up in a syringe. That way I can put what's left back in the bottle. And the myrrh, probably about put about 20. I'm gonna put 30. Perfect. The rest back in there. Eh. There's any left. Okay. So, uh, honestly, it's MERS, one of those ones, it's easier to use a dropper. I should have probably had a dropper ahead of time. Um, and then we're just gonna mix it up. So you can see here, I'm just mixing it all together. And then, oh, oh my gosh, it smells so good. And then I'm gonna use a funnel to put it in my glass bottle. Um, I like glass best for anything with oils because sometimes oils can actually, um, they can eat away at, um, plastic and so and I'm just not a real plastic lover anyway I you know most of the stuff in my house is I use glass um, or metal I just I'm not a fan of plastic I don't like it leaches into things and it's chemicals so there we go so let me get a funnel real quick <coughs> So then we just, eh, one more thing. Never ever organized. <laughs> so uh, I try. Okay. So then you just take it. I'm going to put it into the funnel. And work it down into the bottle. And then we'll put some on. Oh my gosh, it smells just delicious. Um, these are some of my favorite oils, so to put them all together, it just smells mm, yum yum. It smells so good on. Okay, and then you can just take the chopstick and it'll help move it down into the bottle. Just kind of stir it around and it'll drop down in there. Actually, that works even better noisy for you guys but so you get the idea I won't make you wait for me to to do this I'll just um, put some on like I said it just the skin just drinks it right in and it smells amazing so let me know if you have any questions um, and go out and make yourself some 
some wonderful skin tightening lotion. You know, one of the reasons that I you know, choose chose to make skin tightening lotion is, you know, because I lost, you know, I, I was heavy for so many years in my younger years, and then I lost weight in my 50s, um, my skin didn't bounce back super great. And so, you know, I've got a lot of loose skin, and so I like using the oils. See, and it just soaks right in. No greasiness. Oh my gosh, it just feels so good. So anyway, yeah, so that's why I wanted to do a tightening lotion, um, because when you lose weight, you want to be able to tighten that skin back up. And so this is perfect for that. So anyway, let me know if you have any questions and go make yourself some skin tightening lotion. And or if you want um, any information on the face lotion, the fat lotion or the um, pain lotion, just um, let me know and I will get you more information on what oils I used in all of those. Have a fabulous day. Bye.